Makachev versus Dustin Poirier yeah. right this weekend. Yeah. And Dustin Poirier is probably one of the best boxers in the UFC. Mm -hmm. Right? This dude got outboxed by Islam Makachev, who's not a boxer. And I start to like run my head, how does that happen? Islam will outbox a lot of these guys. It's because of the threat of the wrestling. So if you're a boxer, you can't really like unload because you're always like weary. Like the second I start punching, dude's gonna grab me, he's gonna take me down. I'm right. Fucked. And because of that, they're always like careful with their hands. And you saw the exact same thing, Khabib when he fought Conor McGregor. Right. Khabib dropped Conor with a punch. Crazy wild, like overhand. Cause mm -hmm. Conor was thinking he was gonna go for his legs, put his hands down, boom, got caught with a punch. So it just adds another dimension to the fight. Did you watch that fight? Yeah. Yeah, I watched the fight. Very interesting for, uh, because I think we have to mention that Islam also won with that damn staff infection. Yeah, staff infection, Which yeah. is crazy. But overall, I think there was a, um, there was moments where uh, uh, Dustin was on the ground, and I guess he was trying to like see if he could escape, but he yeah. was getting grappled and everything. It was very funny to watch. But overall, I wasn't surprised by the outcome. Um, I don't by, think by anyone was. I was watching like, reaction videos. Everyone yeah. was like, oh, there it is. Right, they, right. They, it was almost like it, it. While you were watching the fight, it was kind of like your timing. You're when is it going to happen? When it's gonna happen. And Dustin, right. Like he put up a hell of a fight, dude. Mm -hmm. He lasted five rounds. Yeah. Pause. No pause. It's Pride Month. He lasted five rounds with Islam Malkachev. <laughs> um, he says more, more about you. Than <laughs> right. He said no pause. No Diddy. Um. Yes, no Diddy. Diddy. I should uh, say. Yeah. It would be yes Diddy. I guess in that yes, case. Yes Diddy. It's Pride Month, baby. Um. <laughs> So, no, but, like he, like, he survived that much, and I think he exceeded people's expectations. Even though he didn't win, mm -hmm. he exceeded people's expectations by, by surviving that long. Right, right. Um, before the inevitable result. But I now, think, do, you think, do you think that's his, his, his last? Because he himself yeah. said it, like, oh, man, I think this could be it for me. I mean, he has money. He has businesses. He has a family. Like, I don't think he wants to take any more brain damage for mm -hmm. unnecessary reasons. And climbing back up to get a title shot, like, the only reason he wanted to fight was to get a title. But to have to climb back the fucking ranks is... It's a lot. It's, it's a, a lot. lot. And is it worth? Because more often than not now, especially at the level that he's at now, you're probably fighting, what, twice a year? Yeah. So and is those it training camps that they take grueling, it's grueling, grueling. So, to subject yourself to that, to have to climb back. You're, you're looking at, like, another, at least another, like... Two, three fights right. before you get another right. shot. Right, exactly. At it. That's where it's not even just, okay, I get one more fight, then I have the title shot. You're probably not going to get the title shot until the top of 2026. Yeah. Or very late 2025. And it's like, do you want to do that? Nah, bro. Is it, to build back up the confidence, it, this, this could be it. This at some point, you lose, yeah, you lose like your motivation. But he did a great job. But that's one thing I noticed from it. I was like, Islam, because people always say like, oh, people say Islam is bad at boxing. Then why did he outbox Volkanovski, who's a great boxer? Mm -hmm. Why did he outbox Dustin Poirier, who's a mm -hmm. great boxer? Because it's crazy to see these guys outboxing them, but it's because of the wrestling threat. Right. Because it adds right. an, an entire dimension to the game where if you're just boxing with a guy, like Floyd Mayweather, if he's just boxing with a guy, he understands boxing so well. Like he's, I, like I hate saying this, but he's almost perfected Yeah, he's a boxing savant. He's a savant. To the point that like, you're right. Like, even if I was grabbing him, he's eventually going to anticipate the grab and right. fuck with it. But once you add the layer of like, hey, I'm going to take you down now, mm -hmm. that boxing goes out the window because now you're worried about a whole other thing and you can't box the way you want to box. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work the same way. You know? Yeah. And that's yeah. when you start getting pieced up by these other guys. And that's the, that's the beauty of um, MMA because there's so many different styles. Yeah. It's why I couldn't survive in, in freaking uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Like, I, I just, it, it's oh, whatever you, thing. you stopped doing it? Bro, I went to a couple more of the classes. It's, it's so weird. I guess because my body's not accustomed to that kind of movement. Yeah. It would take so much time because I, I don't have an issue doing difficult things. Right. I'm not against it. But I would prefer more with the boxing because at least with the range of motion with boxing and kickboxing. It's explosive. It feel, yeah, it's explosive and it feels much more natural because right. it was only certain things within that realm that was different to like the football background because football Jiu -jitsu I'm more leaning flowy. here. It's less that, explosive. It's right. more flowy. Right. And because that's the case and I'm so accustomed to stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. Yeah. My, my body like even when I'm doing rolls, when I was doing rolls, I felt like my brain was bouncing all over my head. Right, right, right. right. And I'm, I'm trying to get my faculties together while going from one spot to another. I'm like, I, if I did this when I was younger, I think I'd have been okay. But now that I'm older, it's it's difficult for me. Jiu -jitsu I'm is struggling. One of those things where it's like, the only time you explode in jujitsu, pause. No pause. Pride Month, baby. The only time yeah. you explode in jujitsu. When you're on bottom. <laughs> <laughs> no, the only time you explode in jujitsu is is literally 
when you're taking someone down. But the second you get tangled up, it's just a game of like flowing until you eventually find a place and you're like, oh, there it is, boom. Right, right. Um, it's, 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 a, it's, it's, a interesting, it's an interesting art form. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's, it's a definitely it's an, an interesting art form. Art form. That's a great way to put but, it. But, man, it's, it's, it's one of those things where I would say, man, this is not my strong suit. Like, yeah. I, I, I want to, my ego wants to say keep training till you can get much better at that. I just feel like I'm better at the other ones. Yeah. But I'm definitely, I'll have to take up Taekwondo at one point. Maybe I'll even try to show the Khan Karate to where you're, you're, you're well versed in. Kickboxing, Kickboxing is um, all right as well. There's some elements in there that, for like, my speed from punch into a kick is terrible like i can't seem to go right into a exchange into a damn kick like it feels so telegraphed right. but i think it's just a matter of over time you're able to build that it's up flowing into the punches too it's it's like it's the same thing as flowing like flowing with jiu-jitsu but you're flowing into the punches and it, it's explode flow explode flow and like things mm -hmm. will work their way into each other i'll show you some really cool stuff i have like awesome combination videos that i'm like that's so beautiful and it flows so well together that mm -hmm. it's like perfect um but yeah man it, it's it's a fun art form i love that stuff and from my experience when i've tried jujitsu like i know a little bit so whenever i go to the gym we'll do jujitsu just to fuck around mm -hmm. i'm not good either yeah. <laughs> it's a completely yeah. different art form mm -hmm. it, it's not necessarily my strong suit either but i love i love kickboxing i love striking it's really fun i think if i had something to really work toward like if i was chasing after something yeah. maybe that can get me there but then just with the hustle of bustle of life it's just in a spot where it's like all right i don't know if i have i don't want to say the time because knowing how i am i'm obsessive about that kind of stuff so yeah. now that would almost become like that this is what i have to do today yeah. so every single day i've always said since i was a kid i've wanted to go like to japan or something for just a year i do nothing but train. That's the only reason why I'm there. Like, it's like why some Japan? Dragon Ball Z kind of, kind of stuff. Oh, because of the, um, the dojos and everything of that nature. It has to be there. It has to be there. The dojo. has to you be know there. There's, you there's know dojos those, here. There's yeah. literally dojos you here. You know, we literally but have the best there. dojos here. I, Japan is not good. So I don't know why. What's it, crazy, right? People always think Asians, like, oh, martial artists. There's no Asian UFC champions. It's crazy that there's no Asian UFC champions. There was, was there one? Zhang um, Wei Li. Of, she's, a, she's a girl. Oh, well, there it is. She's a girl. He never got he never got the belt. No shit. Well, what do you there's know? No Asian, there's no Asian. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I people are like, oh, Asians, martial arts. I'm like, ah. I think it's because of it's also because, the isolation as well. No, it's because of the, the athleticism. Mm. So you don't really see like Asian Asians that are like crazy freak. Athletes. Oh, no, 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 no. Not 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 for um, that regarding champion. I was going to oh, yeah. say with like if I were to go to like. I'm going across the world oh, to be and I'm aware I'm away from it. Like I'm completely off the grid. Yeah. Nobody. Cause I think if I were to go, all right, find a good dojo, whether it be in Miami, maybe go out to New Jersey, find one in New York, go to somewhere else, maybe on the West coast. I'm still within the proximity of the country. If I'm elsewhere, like I'm, you can't find me. I, yeah. I'm out of here. That that's kind of what I had in mind. Yeah. No, but yeah, Asia, surprisingly martial arts scene, you don't have a lot of like champion champions. You have Rod Tang, who's, one championship he's a kickboxing champion mm. but he's a tiny guy you don't really have big like you don't oh have a yeah john yeah jones. like big yeah big 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 like killers and stuff yeah, like that because like, i know um, like a john in jones islam Makachev, one, like one championship those. boxing or is it mma i know i think one one championship and even, is then, MMA, even with rod in mma yeah mighty mouse is the fucking champion it's a black mm. guy so it's not even uh, asia yeah. like, he's just a kickboxing guy yeah there was there was one dude who had like an iron jaw his name started with like a p or something i forget how it's pronounced um, no, it was like his last name started with like a P. I forget. Mm. Ah, Lee, I can't. I forget. I did a number of videos on this man. Like he's got a crazy goddamn jaw. And there's also a Japanese guy. Uh, um, they call him the monster. Um, Inoue. 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 Yeah, Inoue. Yeah, that dude's. A, that, that dude is a terror. That dude is a fucking so terror. I mean, those guys are tiny, tiny. Yeah, guys. yeah, but they're smaller. They're, they're much like smaller. One twenty-two is what he fights at. Right. Right. When, and like they said, yo, would you fight? Like Tank was like, would you fight this guy? He's like, yo, he doesn't want that. Like Tank's way bigger than that guy. Mm -hmm. And with the way Tank hits, he fucking puts people out. Right, right. So. Yeah, so it'd be very interesting. It'd be very interesting. <laughs>